Hey, all you crazy kids introducing Spam Meal for One, Spam and Cheesy Potatoes. This hot meal is ready to eat within minutes, no refrigeration required. Just stick it in the microwave and pow, you've got rich creamy cheese, soft tender potatoes alongside small sexy cubes of America's finest pseudo meat. I run gamuts here on Limbo Grub. I've done a lot of reviews on silk soy milk. I've done a lot of reviews on fish in a can. And I'm sorry to say, I mean, you'd think that would be enough, but I've done a lot of reviews on spam products. And you'd think I'd be happy because if you go back and you look at all those reviews, I gave them glowing reviews. I mean, I, I dreaded them going in. Every single one of them, you, you, you go in and I'm, I go into them like, and I come out like, and you think, like, you think I would learn after a while, but everyone, like, is the same exact story. Why do I go in with such dread? And I'm going into this one the same way. It's because it's freaking spam. And what is it about spam? Why do I still continue to hate spam, even though I give spam, like, four star, four and a half star ratings? The thing is, even though spam tastes great, what do I do with Spam after I'm done eating eating it for the show? It just sits in my fridge forever and ever and ever. I say I'm going to eat it, I never eat it. I can never think of an instance where I'm in the mood for Spam. Can you think of an instance where you would ever eat Spam? No! You are, you are never going to find yourself in any situation where Spam is going to be a necessity. Or, or even it's going to spark in your mind that you're going to want Spam. It's never going to happen. And the same thing's gonna happen here. It's ne you're never gonna have a spam craving. And the same thing rings true here. And it's, it's, it's a waste of time, spam is. And, and this, this is, this is perhaps the scariest form of matter I've ever seen spam ever. And I, I know I sound like a broken record because the last time I reviewed spam, it was in that little packet. And I probably sounded insane back then because I, it, you, a lot of you probably said, oh, that's not a big deal. It's just spam in a packet. It's just like buying like dehydrated bacon. But this, this is spam you, you buy, just, you just find it like on a counter, like sitting, collecting dust on a shelf and you pop it in a microwave and then you have a hearty meal. It's not like you add water to it or anything like that. I mean, I can understand like soba noodles, they come to you all dry and, and you add water to it and you put it in the microwave and then you have meat and like noodles and stuff like that. This, I just popped it in the microwave, I poked some holes in it, I got melted cheese, I've got meat in here. How does that happen? It, it just defies all laws of nature. What is going on? What science is happening in that microwave? It's, it's, is it magic? Is there a wizard, like, inside the package? Is there, like, a tiny, like, little sea monkey wizard doing his magic before dying from the microwaves? Like, his last act before the microwaves kills him is activating the spam magic? And I'd be lying if it didn't smell good. If I said it didn't smell good, it smells great. But I, I guarantee you, I'm going to take one bite, I'm going to say, hey, four-star rating, everybody, and I'm just going to go right in the trash. <laughs> and I'm never going to eat again. I'm never going to eat it again. I'm never going to think about it again. I'm going to give it a whiff, and we'll see. It smells... It smells like grade F hot dogs. It smells like very low-grade pork. Um, which... Spam kind of is. Now, I've never heated up Spam. Maybe this is just what Spam smells like when you heat it up. Um, it's got kind of like a weird, like, pseudo-meat odor to it. Um, but that could be, like, the, 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 the pseudo-potato odor that I'm smelling as well. So, a lot of traffic today. Where's everybody going? Wish I could be going instead of here. Alrighty, um, let me make sure I get a lot of spam in this bite because, as you can see, they jip you on the spam. Sure is a lot of cheese, sure is a lot of potatoes, but not a lot of meat in them, Dar Hills. But, alright, let me give this a whirl and, um, I'll let you know. Yeah. You know what? 
It could be better. It could be worse. It definitely has a weird, stale, dumpster diving, over-the-counter, dollar store kind of taste to it. Oh! What is that? Is that the cheese and the potatoes? There's something that's got like a weird, like stale, unnatural kind of taste. I think it might be the cheese, actually. The cheese is like really off. Ugh. Note to the people at Spam Headquarters, do not try cheese. You're not good at it. Ugh. It's like something off, like an, ugh. Like maybe it's like a little, it's just curdled like a little bit. Ugh. In fact, I feel like maybe for purposes of this review, maybe I shouldn't eat too much of this because I might be making myself sick. And if I were to continue eating this, then maybe I won't be able to pump so many of these videos out. But oh my god. Yeah, this this does not get my ringing endorsement, unlike the other spams. This was kind of like their first major failure. I mean, even that spam that had the garlic in it was better than this. Ugh. I mean, it's, it's hard to say what the problem is. It's just like this, the cheese is too like stale and milky tasting. The potatoes, there's too many potatoes in it. And there's not, near not enough meat in there. You can barely taste this spam at all. And what you're left with is like really bad cheese on really stale tasting potatoes. It's just a match made in hell. So if I were to give this a star rating, I'm going to give it one star. I give it one star because it's just, they did it wrong. And I can't even pretend to, to try to find any merit in it. Because, I mean, maybe, let me try to single out the meat. Maybe if I could, like, wipe some of this cheese off of it. Because this cheese is the problem. This cheese, ugh. I've never tasted worse cheese in my life. I would sooner be eating cheese whiz out of a tube. Yeah, the meat is actually not bad. Considering where it's come from, I mean, this cheese, I mean, this, this meat was trapped in a dehydrated container. I mean, at least, like, when, you're think, when you talk about Spam, it's in a can. A can shields it. The other Spam that was in a packet, the packet's like, kind of like a, I don't know, it's like a, being in aluminum foil. That shields it. What was shielding it? This. It's in a plastic container. It's like putting, like, I don't know, it's like putting like a freaking hunk of meat inside a plastic container. That's not gonna keep it fresh forever. How how has that kept it fresh for so long? How does that keep it fresh? It's just like taking normal meat and putting it on the counter. It stays fresh for like a week at best before going bad. And this has been on probably on this shelf for like years. I don't get it. I just I probably just poisoned my innards, and now I'm probably gonna be projectile vomiting all over the place. I hope I've got a mop handy. Well, anyway, this is your good buddy DJ Clive saying, stay away from cheesy spam and potatoes or whatever the hell this was called, and uh, hopefully the spam gamut is over. I'm done with the spam gamut. Oh, are there any more silk products? Are there any more fish in a can? No more fish in a can. I didn't say that. I didn't say that. Oh, why me?